So Chris Middleton, who got a cleanup surgery on both ankles, where he was playing through an ankle injury on both ankles in the postseason last year, the same postseason where he was by far the Bucks' best player against the Pacers, he had been hurt. And so at the start of the, the offseason, if you haven't been paying attention, he got surgery on both of them. And now a story, or it's just been reported by Chris Haynes that Chris Middleton still is not cleared for five-on-five five full basketball. And I'm going to give y'all the positives and why it's probably not panic time yet first, and then I'll give y'all the things that maybe upset or worry me a little bit about this. The good news is, I'll read you exactly what he said. Milwaukee Bucks star Chris Middleton procedures on both ankles has not been cleared for five-on-five five action with training camp commencing August. October 1st. I believe that's Monday. Um, he's progressing nicely, but team is taking a cautious approach as he's expected to take part in most of camp activities. So if you hear that, the positive is he's seems like he's at a spot where if this was the NBA finals right now, he'd 100% be good to go. But it's just them taking a cautious approach where he probably physically could play five on five basketball without a problem. But they want to just give it as much time as possible before him pushing it to its limits. Um, so that way he can continue to build up strength on that ankle before testing it in full contact, full court, five on five basketball. So the good news is it seems like he has progressed nicely and he is going to be fully healthy come time, start of the season. But they're being cautious with this. And now here's the bad side of it. You know, uh, I've gone from uh, worried about the surgery to... Eh, he's like walking a few days after, walking around, no bra ankle brace, anything like that, no walking boot. He's probably, I mean, it's both ankles, but like he looked like there was no limp. It's probably not going to be that big of a deal. It's just a clean up surgery, um, and he'll be fine, ready come season. And it does seem like he is going to be ready come season, and he is still able to do drills. But this just concerns me in that this man still had a restricted off season where I'm sure he was still able to get in a lot of shooting work, a lot of ball handling work, a lot of cardio, a lot of non-contact stuff, but still just knowing that you're not fully able to play um, real basketball all off season, not that off season necessarily consists of a whole lot of pickup basketball for most of these veterans. You'd still want to be at complete full strength in the off season. And this is just yet another off season for Chris Middleton where he's been hurt. The good news is, last offseason, he was completely hurt, where I don't think he could do it even as much as he was doing now. This offseason, it seems like he was able to do most drills. He's been able to um, run around and all of that. It's just they really want to uh, wait until risking him to get hurt again until you absolutely have to. Um, so they don't want to put him out there in full contact, full court basketball. Overall, I'm not going to get worried until it gets to preseason and he's still not playing. But even then, it's really, you know, regular season is what matters. And it's an 82-game season. So I just obviously want him there for game one. And I'm just hoping that his offseason hasn't been hindered to where he's not going to be able to be ready to go come season playing at his best because I want him to get back to that all-star form. I'm not sure if it's impossible, if it's possible for him to get into an all-star game again at this point where Damian Lillard is going to be taking a certain amount of shots and Giannis. I just don't know if there's going to be the touches that he needs to be getting those type of numbers in his prime of like a 24, seven and five type of guy. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to do that with this team, but if he could just be a 50, 40, 90 on 20, a game for the bucks, 25 and five, something like that. I do think that is very possible if he does have minutes restriction. And that's what I want to see from him this year and obviously once he's back for him to remain healthy and I hope that his ankles get to full strength and they're not a worry come regular season but let me know what y'all think about this are you worried are you concerned or are we not stressing about this yet drop a comment hit that like and subscribe please yes sir